Uh, just verify audio. Did I verify it? Like that you can hear me, give me a thumbs up. Once again, for the first minute, I'll monitor you. Okay. So. Switch. Hey guys, this is John from waltonsinc.com and welcome to our November live stream. Now this is a jam-packed one. We've got a ton going on, lots of moving parts here. So the first thing is I'm gonna make sure that all of you can hear me because we do often have some sort of audio problems, but we think we got it this time. This time the issue is both a camera problem and a giveaway problem. Uh, so if you're watching this on YouTube, go over to waltonsinc.com slash live, and that's where you should be able, okay, audio is good. Um, and that's where you should be able to enter to win our giveaways today. Now, when you go over there, it's gonna ask you to log in. Once you've logged in, you'll have uh, a few different ways to enter. Um, you can visit the podcast page by clicking on that link at the bottom. Uh, you can refer a friend and you can get your one free entry. So that's just gonna give you an entry for basically clicking on it. But you do need to be signed up somehow either uh, through your Facebook account, um, the other options are an email, and I think your YouTube as well. So doing those should allow you to get in, and we have a ton to give away today. So like we talked about in earlier social media and uh, email posts, we are going to be giving away a grinder, a slicer, a mixer, and we're also gonna be giving away two tickets, I guess you would call them. We're working with passing on outdoor mentors who's somebody that we always work with we've been working with them for years we absolutely love them we donated a awesome like everything you could possibly need to process package to them and they're selling tickets twenty dollars a ticket and you know one ticket is one entry so we're going to go ahead and draw one winner for a ticket for that so whoever wins this is just winning a ticket you're not winning the whole package I believe the total value of that package is $2,500 or something like that. It really is everything you could need. The other thing we're gonna be giving you away, or giving away, is a National Wild Turkey Federation gun bash ticket. So we'll talk more about that, but one ticket to that gets you into a raffle for over 50 guns. And there's some pretty awesome guns. So just uh, stay tuned, all of these, as always, you have to be present to win. I'm gonna call your name. If you don't answer in the beginning, we usually do about five minutes. And by answering, you'd go to the chat and say here. I will then later email you, but as soon as you say you're here and we verify it's you, you're good. If no one responds, we're gonna revoke that win and move on to the next person. Um, sorry, got distracted there. Uh, so what else are we doing? We've also got the November sales and giveaways. So we've been talking about this for a long time. Now, 2020 has been a, obviously a really hard year for a lot of people. Um, and while Waltons is very busy, it's given us all sorts of, of troubles, but you know, it's a good problem to have, but it is a problem. One of the things was we could not get any grinders for a long period of time. Trust me, we saw all the back orders, we saw all the requests for grinders. We tried our absolute best to get, you know, the Weston Butcher series, the Weston Pro series, but it, it just wasn't possible. So it did finally force us to contact a manufacturer directly and start having our own grinders made for us. Now we made a couple of changes to their base model so that it would really be ours. Um, we think they're pretty good improvements, honestly. One of those, and it's simple, uh, more, I don't wanna say that actually, I was gonna say more people should do it, but I hope they don't. Um, we changed the stud auger size to better fit pro plates. So you no longer are kind of stuck to your, you know, the home grinding plates and knives where you just use them till they're dull and toss them out. You can now use commercial quality plates which when they're dull, instead of tossing them out and buying them a whole new plate, you can actually send it in to us. And for a small fee, we sharpen them and send them back and they're as good as new. Plates are obviously a little bit more expensive than the you know use once and or use a few times and then throw away plates. Uh, but over the long term, it really can be worth it. 
as long as you know you use it a lot so all right let's see what's going on in chat here so you've seen a ton of people just saying hello everyone's there good 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 um can i make sure has everyone gone to waltonsinc.com slash live uh, and entered to win i want to make sure that that is working before we move on to anything else uh, and then I am drinking a New Belgian tart. And I don't know how to say it. It's either lychee or lychee. Any ideas? I don't know. Uh, I think the first one maybe. Lychee. It's a, it's a tropical sour that's absolutely delicious. And for a sour, it's 7.5%. I mean, that's, that's not bad. I'm very much liking these recently. All right, it was working, but it won't let me chat. Well, Steve, you, you chatted in, so it seems to be letting you chat. <laughs> it seems to. Okay, working, just had to refresh. Yeah, so we were uh, making some changes. Uh, don't know why it wasn't working at one point, but we do finally have the uh, entry working. Now, I'm also going to post links to the giveaways for Pass It On uh, and the gun raffle so that if anybody wants to enter those, they can feel free to go ahead. Um, we will draw those winners first. So anyone who's waiting to see if you win before you go and buy a ticket, we will get that sorted really early in this whole process. Then how we're doing all the other giveaways is first person, we did this once before when we cleaned out the kitchen. First person to win gets their choice between the number eight uh, Pro Series Weston Grinder, the Walton's 10 inch slicer, or the Walton's 20 pound meat mixer. Next person will get that choice, next person. So first person gets whatever they want out of the three of those. Second person gets whatever's left, and the last person you get what you get. Uh, saw some people, I think I saw a text saying something about my hat and Team Blue. So these are new era Walton's camo hats. They are the fitted kind. So we do have two sizes. We've got the medium to large and large to extra large. I always thought I had this like huge head, yeah. but medium to large seems to fit. Yeah, the flex fit, it's like well. when you first put it on, it's a touch snug and then you, it'll kind of relax relaxes. a little bit. Yeah, so it's not like a true fitted fit. It is the flex fit. But it's still a great hat. Nice. I mean. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, it's not like the fitted, fitted like right, a right. like a like fifty nine like fifty. Actual baseball. If hat. you look in the inside of it, it should have the ex exact name of the type of hat. This is thirty nine thirty. Yeah, thirty nine thirty. That's like yeah. the style. Kind of like how jeans have different numbers. Uh, so I don't know those. I'm more familiar with the hats. Too fashion forward for me. Um, but we're also going to draw a winner for one of those since we just got them in. We will have new Walton's black hats in soon. I was really wishing those were here for this, but whatever. Um, and so, all in all, we are drawing two, at least five, at least six winners. Uh, maybe draw a few winners for uh, jerky and seasonings, but oh, yeah, also we made maybe a not. bunch of jerky for for that recently, right? Yeah, but we've got a ton of other giveaway stuff. Okay, perfect. So this is one of the most like giveaway-based live streams we have. Um, so we'll see how it goes. First thing we're gonna do is talk about the Pass It On Outdoor Mentor Raffle, and then we'll draw a winner for that. Um, I am gonna go ahead and post a link in the chat so anyone who wants to go directly to Pass It On can see what I'm talking about here. But when I said we did everything, I mean, we gave anyone everything they would need to process. Um, we've got the new Waltons when it comes in. This is a 32, but it'll be a 22 Walton stuffer. Uh, we've got the 10 inch meat slicer, which we'll bring out here in a minute. We've got the 11 pound sausage stuffer, the Waltons 50 pound meat mixer, uh, we've got the Marinade Express Tumbler. Uh, we've got the Hamilton Beach Commercial Sous Vide Circulator. We've got the Weston Six Tray Dehydrator, the Weston Harvest Guard Vac Sealer. Uh, we've got a bunch of Walton's uh, knives. We've got the Meachistics Orange Shirt, flexible cutting mats, the leather apron. Uh, we've got the Chef's Choice 120 Knife Sharpener. Then we've got the new uh, Walton's Quick Read Long Dial Thermometer and orange meat lug, and we've even got some vac bags for your vac bag rolls, I think they are, or pouches, whatever. 
but there is literally everything you could need. I can't think of anything other than a smoker that's not in there. And so you're on your own for that one. Unless you want to buy one of those big Pro Smoker 500 T's, we'd always love to sell one. Um, but yeah, so click that link I posted in the chat if you want to go directly to that. And let's see how many users we have on that. Like I said, I do want to get the Pass It On and the NWTF, both of those settled early so that we can get people over there buying them. Okay. Yeah, 515, not bad. All right, so this first one's gonna be for the Pass It On. So all of you have a one out of 515 chance of winning. So this winner is just about my age, same year. Uh, Travis Samuelson, Travis Samuelson. Just give us a shout in the chat, just simply saying here, and we will go ahead and get you an email saying, uh, with, with the details on what you want. Um, there's no real way to claim it. It's just to monitor that to see if they select your ticket. Uh, pass it on. So Chris is saying it still won't let you enter. Uh, Chris, when you... Uh, when you're at waltonsinc.com slash live, that's where you need to be. Um, if you're trying to enter through YouTube, that won't work. Um, is it showing you like the an email signal or a symbol, a uh, Facebook and a YouTube? You have to log in somehow with one of those. No, we should address one other thing. If you guys are hearing that, they are doing some work in the room right behind us. Uh, they're installing some stuff. There's nothing I can do about it. So hopefully it's not too annoying for you guys at home. Okay, so Chris says he's on live. Which one's that? Is it? Oh. Does it have the links off to the right-hand side on live? It should be off to the right, but Thomas Sweeney brings up a good point. Uh, the Edge, it might not work with. So you should be using uh, Chrome, Firefox. But yeah, I've, other people have said things about Edge in the past, so yeah. we should try to remember that, I guess. Yeah, I've never even messed with it. Immediately got All that right, off. Well, Greg computer. is saying he's using uh, Edge with no issues. And I have not seen Travis respond. Has anyone else? Mm -hmm. Well, we'll give him the full five minutes because some people are behind a couple of minutes. Not everyone's watching perfectly live. Mm -hmm. uh, so Richard says, what's the difference between Excalibur Steak and Roast and Walton Steak and Roast? Uh, the Walton Steak and Roast Rub has a little bit larger of a, a salt crystal. Uh, that really is the biggest difference, other than that they're really yeah, particle similar. size. I mean, just like I said, just looks a touch bigger, maybe the whole mustard seed in your hand, but flavor profile. Yeah, so flavor have, profile, they're yeah. real, real similar. Yeah. All right, cool. So looks like Chris is good now. Uh, Austin has been really working on some stuff. So we've got him just doing that for the foreseeable future. There is no time for him to do anything else. So this is our busy season. Uh, we expected to be a little bit busier than usual this year. Uh, as we've done every single year, we grow a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Uh, this has been a different type of year. Uh, so we've had to try to make some some tough decisions on who does what, who has time to do what, um, and just for the future, there might be one or two guys coming in and out throughout the uh, live stream to sit down and talk about some stuff. But uh, for the most part, it is gonna be just me. So if you're coming for Austin, I'm sorry, you are disappointed. But I've also got Patrick. Yeah, I could hijack the show whenever I want. So. And London, right in the back. So I'm not, you know, I'm not out here, what are they? I can't think of it, Billy No Mates. That's something that English people say when they're all oh, okay. by themselves, Ooh. Billy No Mates. Like you're putting a curse on me or something. No, no. Uh, but yeah, 
So if you were looking for Austin, he will be back uh, in future episodes or future live streams and on uh, podcasts. But the last two have been just me and a guest and another one that will be released Monday or actually should be released tomorrow will be just me. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That was the yeah. uh, clear in the mail. And then bag. we'll have, you have a guest on for the one that's coming out next week. Yep. Which yep. is a really, really good one. Which is, I mean, I would say that was the one we went furthest away from meat processing on. But it still t- had ties to it. Yeah, to yeah, it. it tied yeah. back. It but we, eh, I didn't want to tell you what we did, but we had a really, really interesting guest on, or at least I thought he was interesting. It was fun to talk yep. to. Really good guy. Um, what else was I going to say? We're talking about the podcast. Oh, yeah. As far as live streams go, we are going to try. It's something we said we'd start about three or four weeks ago, and then we never did. Uh, we're going to try doing a Meet Gistics live stream every Thursday <clears throat> at 3 p.m. Now, it's not going to be like this. It won't be a bunch of giveaways. It won't be, you know, a, a ton of interaction. It'll mostly be us picking a topic on something that's either pertinent from Meet Gistics or something that we just did and really diving into detail on that. Your chair well, breaking? What does that sound? Yeah, it is. It doesn't seem to be doing it anymore. Okay. Um, so we'll really try to dive deep into that. We're going to have B-roll to show you guys close-ups because we can flip over to other things. Um, and just really that we'll be talking about meat processing where this just kind of goes products. Yeah, yeah. We Everything start you want it to be, yeah. Yeah. coupons this, and stuff. So We just kind of go wherever we want with this yep. one. But All right. So I don't know if, uh, if is this the new blue? I'm going to switch chairs. Okay, please. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm still, if there ever were teams, I'm on Team Gray. I've recruited London with me. Yeah, Team Gray. Did we ever create that? No. I'm busy doing a bunch of other things. But All right, well, What are Ryan and Joe talking about? Uh, oh, the vacuum tumbler. Yeah, uh, Joe, like I told you, if you need more of those, I I have a small stack of them, um, so let me know. Uh, Not you, though, Ryan. The real question is, who doesn't use the inversion table? Who else? Oh, they're asking about it? Yeah. Inversion table is awesome. That's mine. Uh, When I was a young kid, I had back surgery, so I had back problems most of my life, but in the last couple of years, maybe due to that. Yeah. I really don't anymore. Very, very rarely does it ever bother me. So yeah, I've been having to use it a lot lately. My You've been sciatic. in it constantly. Yeah, yeah, but it helps, especially yeah. on a Monday. For sure. So. For sure. So Christopher, oh, it's Chris Bashirs. Yes, that black hat is coming, um, and that black hat is also like a nylon. All right. Did anyone ever see what was his name? Travis. I never saw. Him. Okay. Travis Lipinski. Yeah. Yeah, that's not the same name at all. Uh. Hmm. Well, that's an interesting one. What was All right, the- Travis Lipinski, uh, tell us if you are actually Trav- Travis Samuelson. I mean, we've had that before. Yeah. We've had it where it's a totally User different name's name. different than... But yeah, if not, name. we're going to... I saw Travis, but not... Yeah, it was Travis Lipinski. Okay, so Anna, uh, for your phone, there. while you're watching it, there should be like three buttons or more menu. You have to click that and then click oh. view as desktop to be able to get chat and all that uh, on your uh, not the right travis so right travis lipinski but we were looking for travis samuelson okay nope not him all right he's getting revoked and we're drawing a new winner how does somebody enter we drew that like six minutes into the live stream what are you talking about the like this guy obviously entered and then took off immediately i yeah he was here and then bailed all right so i'm repicking it and this winner is Liz Villarreal. Liz Villarreal. Liz, let us know you're here. Uh, you just won a ticket to the Pass It On Outdoor Mentors. Uh, 
raffle? Yeah, Walton's yeah. Ultimate Processing Package Raffle. It has everything I read. I mean, it literally has everything from a grinder to a vacuum sealer and all the steps in so between. Someone earlier said, you're winning a chance to win. Exactly, something. yes. This is just a chance to win. But those, these are just like the small things we're doing before we get to the cleaning out the kitchen. Uh, okay. Sorry, I need to keep detailed notes while I go here. Otherwise, it becomes a nightmare tomorrow trying to figure out who <laughs> won what. And You've rewatched uh, one of these where it was like a couple I've rewatched right? four of these. Oh, oh, man. Yeah, it's not not fun. All right. So, Liz Villarreal, let us know you're here. Liz, come on down. I haven't seen her yet. Okay. Yes, yeah, we record them, but even watching it back, I mean, they usually go somewhere in the range of two hours, two-ish hours, so. Well, there's a bunch of different giveaways we do, some you have to be present for. Right. And the bigger prizes, uh, so when, like the monthly giveaways, you do not have to be present for. Exactly. When we do, like the, the giveaways that are always up at waltonsinc.com slash win, those you don't need to be present for because you can enter any day of the month on those. For these, you have to be present for because we want people here and engaged. Um, and speaking of giveaways and sales, so this is our crazy month. Uh, we've got right now at... Uh, our YouTube page, we've got our November sales and giveaway video up. Uh, for that, we're giving away the Walton's 22 meat grinder, and then we've got a bunch of items on sale. But we have we have two other sale items, <laughs> or two other sales going this month. We have our pre-Thanksgiving sale. Our pre-Thanksgiving sale, uh, which goes from, I think, the... 9th to the 13th uh, and then we've got our thanks black monday sale now thanks black monday is our biggest sale of the year it goes in three stages uh, one starts on uh, the 23rd which is the monday before i think that's the monday right before uh thanksgiving yes it is and then goes all the way to Cyber Monday. The next one is just from Black Friday to Cyber Monday, and the final one is just on Cyber Monday. Uh, those sales sort of escalate, get bigger and bigger items on sale, bigger and bigger discounts, but it all kind of accumulates, culminates in a five hour podcast or live stream here on uh, Cyber Monday, where we take questions, we put things on sale based on what you guys want, if we can do it. Last year, we gave away a couple of you know, first person to use it type coupons that were like 30% off. Uh, just tons of fun stuff. And it's usually around five hours and a great time. Lynn wants to know, how were the pecans? <gasps> you forgot you had Where those, Where are the didn't? pecans? I got them. Oh, we didn't those get ice cream. That's so good though. So uh, Lynn from Meat Gistics, he's uh, LKR Fletcher, sent in some smoked pecans that are just absolutely unbelievable as soon as i opened them the day they got here like a week ago i made london take them and hide them from me because yeah. otherwise i was going to eat every single one of those i totally forgot about that thank you thank you for sending them thank you for reminding me let's see here uh so ben shelf life for high temp cheese i mean it's cheese so it's just about the same. Uh, you can keep it in your fridge, I believe up to like two months, something like that. And you can freeze it for, I think, six months to a year. Uh, in general though, it's best just to use it fairly quickly. Now, these are the pecans. They were smoked and there's something else on them, but I can't remember what it is. That was so ridiculously good. All right, did I miss Liz Villarreal? I didn't see her. Still no. Nope. 
Liz Jones is here, but nope, not Liz Villarreal. All right, we'll give her a couple more minutes. Let's see here. Sales are always good, yo. Uh, if I already have a stand meat grinder attachment, why would you recommend this larger grinder? Capacity, yeah, capacity. Uh, Speed. I mean, I, I assume you're talking about like on the front of a KitchenAid, KitchenAid type yeah. thing. Depends, I mean, if you're doing like small two or three pound batches, that will work. But if you want to be able to do a deer, a pig, um, yeah. even just like 25 pound batches, I have to imagine that with your uh, KitchenAid or whatever it is, that grinder attachment on the front takes a while. This will chew through that really quickly. Plus on a second grind on one of those, a second grind on one of those, I have to imagine would take forever and probably overstress your proteins. Whereas something like this, you're getting right through it. Take it as not having to be here since on the meat processing package. Raffle rules, this contest is open to anyone. Where does it say need not present to be win? Oh, that's just on the... Oh, that's for win. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that just means the big monthly packages. Those are ones that need rules. These are, these are slightly different. We still do a random drawing that is absolutely necessary when giving stuff away, but for these... Then on live stream, it's just understood that you kind of have to be here. These are almost supplemental prizes, nothing yep. really, really that major, even though this month is a really good one to, to have. So Yeah, this is a, a very good giveaway month. Now, Lynn made a comment that these aren't the best thing for the carnivore diet, but I never really stuck with that anyways. <laughs> I had a crazy, like, people kept coming over on the weekends, we kept drinking, and so I'll step on that scale if you want, but it's not going to be anything good. Mm. Michael, no, the raffle is not, you don't need to be present to win those raffles. Yeah, you have to drink every time you're interrupted by the drill. Oh, well, that's going to be, no. How well can you guys hear that? Is it really annoying? So I'm saying you? they can't really, it doesn't overpower your voice, so it, maybe the lapel mic is doing a good job, but oh, I don't That's know. what the guy meant when he said just keep talking. Gotcha. Understand now. Yeah. All right, so James, uh, for the, I'll, I'll post it again, uh, for the Passing On Outdoor Mentors, you go to this link, you can see everything that's on there and you can buy tickets through there. Uh, same thing for Super Green Beans Caden, that's that same link. Now we are gonna talk about a gun raffle that is a different link and we'll get there in a couple of minutes. I just want to draw a winner for this thing, but I, Liz hasn't entered, right? No one saw it? No. Okay. Repick win. Can you use uh, brat seasoning as snack stick seasoning if you add pink salt? Yeah. Yeah, there's a... It's kind of seasoning by seasoning, and the main reason... Well, there's a couple main reasons for that. Number one is the salt content. When you're talking about a bratwurst or a fresh sausage, salt is there mainly as a flavoring agent. When you get into things like snack sticks, summer sausage, other things like that, salt also plays a functional role. It helps in protein extraction, has a few other roles as well. It helps solubilize uh, the protein in the center of that muscle. Very hard to get to without the correct salt content. So if you try to use a bratwurst for that, the couple things I'd say is mix, 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 like way extra mixing. Uh, maybe use a couple more, 10, 15% more seasoning per pound. Um, that might help mitigate that salt. The other one is uh, particle size. You don't really want a snack stick with these huge particle sizes in it because, you know, a snack sticks up a very small diameter product, so you don't want like a huge chunk of apple or something like that in there. Um, it can be done, it absolutely can be done, but it doesn't always work well. But yeah, use a binder for sure, sure gel, use sure gel and mix until you have absolutely great protein extraction. All right, 
Michael Dupree. Michael Dupree. And I will post your name. Congratulations, Michael. Please respond telling us that you're here. Yes, Michael, very close. God, these are so good. Do you guys want some of these? No, I'm good. Maybe if there's any left. So I don't know if it's just Walton's being lucky with our customers, but I do have to say, both on Meatgistics and during these live streams, everyone's always thanking each other and saying congratulations. It is absolutely wonderful to see. Um, London, could you go turn the air on? Yeah. I'm starting to sweat. Uh, Zach, no, these are all mine. I will not be sharing these. I'd rather send out some jerky. Oh, somebody said there he is. Yep, there we go. All right, awesome. Congratulations, Michael. So you just won a ticket uh, for a chance to win the ultimate processing package from uh, Pass It On that we are providing to them. Said everything before, it has everything literally from uh, knives and a grinder to a vacuum stuffer. It's got a vacuum tumbler. Uh, it's got uh, a meat mixer. It's got a sausage stuffer everything you could need. So I will go ahead and email you uh, with your ticket number uh, from Pass It On. And now we're gonna talk about the National mm. Wild Turkey Federation Gun Bash. They're calling it there. well, I will post this link in the chat so everybody can go there and enjoy this with me. Uh, it is <laughs> the NWTF. Second Amendment Freedom Raffle. It has 59 days to go. It closes on December 31st. And uh, prizes are everything from a, some TriStar uh, Rugers. You've got Upland Hunters. We've got all sorts of pistols. We've got some classic guns. It's just ridiculous amount of stuff. Uh, so some of you probably have already gotten this email from uh, National Wild Turkey Federation. It is, I believe, $50 a ticket. Pretty sure it's $50 a ticket. 20. 20. It is $20 a ticket, so not as bad. Um, and that gives you a chance to win, plus it will get you uh, access to a special coupon code uh, for waltonsinc.com. So if you don't win this, definitely go check this out. National Wild Turkey Federation has A, done an amazing job keeping things going during COVID. I mean, this has been really, really hard on a bunch of wildlife, uh, things like that. I mean, I know Pass It On has struggled, Pheasants Forever, um, but yeah, National Wild Turkey Federation has really kind of taken up this as an opportunity to, to switch how they do things. They've done a really good job pushing everything online and still trying to keep things going. Because while we're not able to get together and do the banquets. We still want to go out there and be able to enjoy the land. So, all right. So we're gonna draw a winner for this. And then after that, we will draw a winner for one of the three. So this is the last winner that isn't for one of the pieces of equipment. It's a confusing way to say that. All right, winner is Arthur Duda. Arthur, you won a uh, raffle ticket for the NWTF uh, gun bash. So just let us know you're here so that we can get that handled and move on to the things that everybody really wants, which is grinders, mixers, and slicers. Awesome, that was super easy. Thank you, Arthur. I don't know what it is, but I have a very hard time not entering to win a gun. Like, anytime I go anywhere where there's a raffle, I always enter it, pass it on, um, the PFQF, any of their banquets, I'm always probably spending more money than the gun is worth buying tickets for it, but I love the chance to win something. 
All right. Let's see. How would you win? Would you be a gracious winner or just really celebrate? I think it depends on the... The prize? Well, that and the situation. Like, how many beverages have I had? Oh, okay. Who's around? Yeah. I mean, if I'm there with, you know, Brett and everyone else, I'm going to be very gracious. Mm, thank oh, you. Thank you. Yes, yes. If it was, like, you, me, and Colton, <laughs> I probably would act a little bit different. A couple of chest bumps coming up. <laughs> All right, yep. Everyone seems to like the... Uh, the quick response by Arthur. So good job there. And Dale, yes, what type of beverage you're drinking absolutely matters as well. Um, before we get into those drawings, mentioned these grinders before. They should be here a week from today. That's when we believe we will physically have them in our hands. I keep thinking something's gonna happen. So, I mean, I have everything all set up to go put them online. Mm. I just haven't hit that enabled button yet. Well, I want better pictures of them too. But uh, if everything goes well, by the end of the day, next Monday, you should be able to go to waltonsinc.com and purchase one of these grinders. We have everything coming from 32, 22, 12, eight. We even have a small uh, kitchen grinder, a little number eight. That's, I can't remember how many watts it is. It's not 750, but it's like in that range. Um, so if you only do small batches or you just do things a couple of times a year, that might be the, the right choice for you. If you do a couple elk a year, if you do you know, pig, deer, all of that, the 32 or the 22 might be worth it for you. So they will be here. Please let them be here next Monday. I'm so happy if that happens. Um, and then keep eyes out because shortly after that, we're going to have our uh, Walton's pre-Thanksgiving and then our Thanks Black Monday sale. Our Thanks Black Monday sale is usually the one that we try to have a little bit of fun with at least. Uh, last year, we did some interesting things. A couple of years ago, I think, Patrick, you weren't here, no. We had a green screen and we went really crazy with it. You weren't here for that. We've We've done green screen, but... We've done green screen. What do we do with green screen? The remote stuff. I put you guys in a tree stand for. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So that we did fun. a couple green screens. That stuff. was fun. All right. So I'm drawing a winner now. Whoever wins this gets their choice between bring stuff up. Now there's a story behind this one. This is a number eight Weston pro grinder. This grinder sat in our room under a desk for three years, probably, something like that. It had a note on the top that said, return, perfectly good to use. I just assumed the box was always empty. <laughs> so I was cleaning out that room because we moved offices and it had a little bit more resistance than I expected it to. Um, opened it up, turns out there was a grinder in there. Tested it, runs perfectly well. So we figured uh, we would give someone here the, the chance to win. So I'm assuming this is gonna be the first thing that's chosen, but you never know. Somebody might already have a grinder. The other options, oh no, I'm carrying this with me so I don't have to scream. The other options are a Walton's 20 pound meat mixer and a Walton's 10 inch meat slicer. So the 10 inch meat slicer is Excellent for making jerky if you do a lot of deli meats. Reason it's so good for jerky is you will cut all of your meat at the exact same thickness, making marinating, smoking, dehydrating, all of it easier. It also has this handy little uh, knob in the back that sets the depth of the carriage so it can't move back on some of the grinders. As you push forward, you're also pushing down and it'll actually turn this knob as you push this. But that is not a problem with this one. All right. Drawing a winner. Mm. 
John Belvedere. I think he's here. I saw that name earlier. I've seen it before. Yeah, he's been with us a couple times. Um, Mr. Belvedere? Yep. That was a good show. So, John Belvedere, you won your choice between these three items. Now, I don't even remember what Mr. Belvedere was about. Like, he was a butler? I've never watched it. I just heard a Stewie from Family Guy watching it one time, but... Also, but when mixed with half venison, don't you really only get 10% fat? Is the flavor of straight pork fat at 20%? Okay. So I assume he's talking about when we say mix 50 50 uh, venison with untrimmed pork meat or pork butts. So pork butts should be in the 30% range. Um, occasionally they'll be less than that, but they should be in that 30% range. So right there, you're at 15%, plus you have to assume that there is some intramuscular fat on. Oh, the deer. Uh, I want to find that. What? Um, go, can you find me the, the, on Meat Gistics, the post that was, I hope this is okay to post, the deer thing, where it sliced its back. John's here. Sweet. All right. John, he said, congratulations. He says, he says he was English. I'm Italian. So John <laughs> Belder is Italian. All right, John, what do you want? Do you want the grinder, the slicer, or the mixer? It would be funny if like that now he doesn't respond. What would we default him to? Oof. Apparently he said slicer. Oh, he did? Okay, uh, cool. We'll, He's got it. I don't know. I think you'd have to default him to the grinder, Oh, he right? says here, slicer, please. So he'll take the slicer. Awesome. All right, so the slicer is off the board. The problem is, like, everyone's so nice that when we go to read, if that guy said here, everyone's going, thanks, John. <laughs> or Congratulations. Congratulations, John. You're welcome. All right. Ooh. Wow. People were going to go with the slicer over the grinder. Now, is I that wonder because if that's mostly people with grinders. Maybe. Well, I would pick the slicer. Would you really? Well, yeah, I, I mean, I don't do You're a lot of processing grind. at home and stuff okay. like that, but a slicer, I can always slice something, so. Yeah, fair enough. Joe, I don't think this grinder is going to work for you, I, although it might work better than your, uh, what was it called, not Turbo Hawk, does anyone remember what Joe's, Thunder, <clears throat> I'm close. Joe had a, a grinder that was mm. leaking from the head, like he can't, didn't get it from us. Um Joe, what was the Thunderbird? There you go. He sent me a video of that. It was unbelievable. Yeah, that's fair too. I mean, a number eight grinder isn't going to be big enough for, for some people. So somebody asked earlier what the advantages of a, a dedicated grinder over an attachment like that. Our answer was speed, obviously. Capacity, you can do much more, much quicker, but it is also quality of the grind. Um, we had the, the gaps adjusted on these augers, um, how wide the gaps are or narrow the gaps are is going to affect how quickly and how efficiently the meat is passed down to the plate to knife. So if you ever sit down here or sit up top and as you're pushing meat down, you see it start backing up there. That can be for a number of reasons. Usually that's on your second grind. Um, but a, a wider gap at the back, narrowing down, will start accepting that and push it down theoretically quicker. Uh, the one thing I always tell people is on your second grind, unless you're specifically going for speed, like you're trying to do a speed test or something, your stomper should almost never come into it or very, very rarely. You want to push just, in meat, or just enough meat down until it clears the auger grooves so you can see all of it and then push a little bit more down. You'll actually grind much quicker than that than if you just try to take a bunch of meat and pack it down there and press down with the stomper. Because what you're gonna get then is back pressure and you'll actually get meat. So the auger's going down. You'll actually get meat skipping back over the augers. So just put a little bit down, let it feed, put a little bit down, let it feed. It doesn't seem like it would be faster, but it definitely is faster. Uh, 
no, Jerry, so we won't do the, either one of the raffles. Um, the NWTF, we might announce it. We might have uh, the guy who's doing it come in here and we'll do something to announce it. Um, but no, no, the, uh, both the Pass It On and the NWTF, those are through other companies. Um, but like I said, there is talk of the National Wild Turkey Federation guy coming in here, us doing a live stream and drawing the winners live there, but you don't need to be present. Uh, no, this mixer is not one of the ones that can attach to a grinder. Only the uh, Weston 44 pound and our 50 pound hook up to grinders. Now this is an interesting thing. Uh, our grinders, I can't even really say that. I can say the sample that they sent us definitely does hook up to the Weston 44 pound meat mixer. In the past, we had kind of been, we kind of believed that that wasn't the case that each brand mixer hooked up to its brand grinder and, and that was it. Turns out that that might not necessarily be true. Um, you know, the manufacturers might want you to be using just their two products for obvious reasons, uh, but there might also be some warranty stuff involved there. Uh, but our grinders definitely work with the 44 pound meat mixers and the 50. There's the Weston Butcher M Pro Series definitely work with our 50 pound meat mixers. So uh, there does seem to be some overlap there. And I was talking to somebody the other day, the axle and paddle system on ours is 10% heavier than the uh, 44 pound Weston meat mixer. Um, I'm also not a welder, but neither is this person who said it, but this person has a lot more experience with like farm equipment, stuff like that. He did say that the hot welding on these or contact welding, whatever he said, did look a lot better than the Weston 44 pound. I don't know. I just know I've run a bunch of batches through that and it has worked really well. Um, I don't know if Park Cider is on. Um, doesn't necessarily always uh, join us for these, but he's a big Meatistics user. He had some problems with his Weston 44 pound meat mixer. Uh, I think he had somebody like re-weld his paddles at some point. Now he's moved well beyond that in capacity. He now uses big commercial mixer. Um, but yeah, so just thought. Uh, yeah, so no, this is the, the 20 pound meat mixer. A 50 pound meat mixer is ooh, this. So it's got a different uh, gear system on the side. Uh, Val says those skinless breakfast sausages that are shaped like cigars. Can you use a sausage stuffed without casing to shape them? Yeah, I don't know how they would do that. Uh, I would imagine it's something they extrude. Um, is there more to that? Did she say something about that earlier? I don't see anything. I, I would imagine that's a, a either hand done, which I can't believe if you're buying that commercially. Um, but if it's something somebody you know is making, I guess they're hand doing it. Uh, if they're doing it skinless, they're probably using a cellulose casing or an inedible collagen casing, cooking it in that and then peeling it. That's usually how you do a skinless product. You can do it where you don't cook it with anything, but that's, that's very rare. Uh, so this is, uh, Anna says, what size difference? Um, this is a 32, this is in number eight. Now, a good portion of this size is the box. Um, I mean, a 32 is going to be significantly bigger than a, a number eight. Nope, uh, David, we're giving away a 22 um, for next month's, like what's going on now, this giveaway, but this one is actually a 32. <coughs> 
Uh, Robert says, when I use a collagen casing, they don't stay tight on the snack sticks. What am I doing wrong? So there could be a, a whole host of things. Um, the number one thing I would imagine is something wrong with your smoke schedule. That's usually what it is. Uh, it could be that you didn't get enough protein extraction. Protein extraction allows the uh, meat, fat, seasoning, water, everything to bind together and stick together during a cooking process, which would normally render the fat out of the meat. But when we get protein extraction, we keep it all bound up in there. When we don't get that, what you get is the meat in the middle, fat cooks out to the end or to the edge and starts dripping down. So that's gonna kind of create a separation between your casing and your meat. So make sure you get really good protein extraction Use a binder like SureGel or SuperBind. Those are the two best binders for cured um, sausages like snack sticks. Uh, and then definitely make sure you're getting it right into an ice bath. So ice baths are weird because they act differently for summer sausage as they do for snack sticks. And they kind of do exactly opposite things. If you don't get it into an ice bath and you just put it into like cold water, you know, cold water, uh, a snack stick will separate from the meat, the, the casing from the meat, and a summer sausage won't separate from the meat. So you'll get those things where you go to peel the summer sausage casing and a bunch of meat comes with it, or you'll get what you're talking about, which is where the meat separates from the casing. Another possibly uh, cause of what you're going through could be you're not letting it dry enough before you're putting it in a vac bag or putting it in the fridge could also be your fridge has too much humidity in it. I mean, there is like a total host of things that you'd have to kind of chase down. The number one thing though, is make sure you're getting really good protein extraction and uh, yeah, use a binder. Uh, so Taylor says, would the 50 pound meat mixer work well with a small amount of meat or does it need to be pretty full? I have run 12, I think 12 and a half pounds is the smallest batch that you can run on there and that is pushing it. Um, I have this handy little uh, hamburger meat paddle, somewhere there. And with this, reach over, push things back into where the paddles can get to it. Cause just by nature, it's gonna push everything to the bottom and to the sides. So you have to actively keep putting it back in the way of the paddles. Now with larger batches, you don't have to do that nearly as much, but with 12 and a half pounds, um, you definitely do have to do that. Now, in my opinion, definitely still easier to use that and hook it up to a grinder and let it do the mixing for me and just reach in and you know, move things around than it is using a 20 pounder and, and turning the handle. Um, but I don't know, maybe I'm lazy. Uh, yeah, so Mike's Micro Shop says you need 10 to 12 pounds. I mean, I would say 12 pounds for sure. Uh, protein extraction, same as cure? Uh, no. So uh, cure is a, cure is something that we use to allow us to cook meats at really lower temperatures for really long times. So if we put a, a sausage in a smoker and we didn't add any cure, well, we're starting off with at least a half hour at 120 degrees. Then we're going to 140 degrees for an hour, 160 degrees for an hour. So there it's been in the danger zone for at least two and a half hours. So you've created the perfect environment for botulism, a whole host of other nasty things that we don't want in our meat. The cure helps fight that off. It also imparts a cured meat flavor taste, uh, but the main thing it's doing is it's keeping our meat safe through that smoking process. Protein extraction is what actually binds all the meat together. So. Uh, Dean says, uh, do I remember you hearing that the Walton's grinders are lighter than the Weston grinders of the same size? Um, no, I think maybe we're talking about the 12 inch slicer because uh, we did make some changes to that and we knocked off 15 pounds, somewhere in that range, 12 pounds, something like that. Uh, but I think the grinders are gonna be significant, pretty close on weight. Uh, they might be a little bit lighter on your wallet, but I can't guarantee that. 
uh, with most of the meat mixers. Yeah, the more full, the better. Yep, that is true. Uh, Marine asked, do we ever give away a freeze dryer? No, we don't carry one. Ooh, I jumped there. We really need meat paddles with Walton's name on it. And we have trying to get as many things as Walton's named as we could. Uh, so uh, Flyboy No More says, uh, my Walton's auto injector keeps plugging. Are there specific products to use? Is there a drawing available that shows how to put the, yeah. So there is a, uh, a parts breakdown for that. So with those auto injectors, after every single use, you need to break it all the way down. If you don't, you're gonna get those little tiny valves. Things will get stuck there, grow there. If you try to just like run clean water through it, that's not gonna work. Um, let me try and find a, that parts list. Um, and then the other thing I would say to do there is take a little bit of white oil or some sort of oil and oil that gasket that goes around the little uh, the, the syringe um because that should help where is that part maybe it's on meat logistics nope there we go parts breakdown Where are we going? I lost chat. Oh, there we go. All right, so I just posted a parts breakdown for the auto injector. And yeah, you can overmix. Um, it's not all that common though. Far more common, at least in our experience, that people undermix. Uh, so David CTUSA says, is the meat mixer a pain to clean, especially with pork sausage? I mean, that depends on a couple of things. What is your cleaning setup? I am lucky enough to have access to a, a nice test commercial kitchen right over there with a hose that you know, moves pretty much around wherever I want. So it's not that hard for me to clean up. Um, in general though, you do need to take out the, the center uh, axle. I do think it's easier on this one than the Weston. I don't know why it's easier, but it definitely does seem to be easier. Um, also the fact that that whole entire center tub flips all the way up and down definitely makes it easier to dump that tub. Um, but yeah, I mean, that kind of depends a little bit on uh, what your setup is. But yeah, I mean, they're not, they're certainly not simple to clean. Well, uh, they're simple to clean. They're, they're, they can be difficult. All right. Oop. All right. Let's draw the next winner. So first person took the meat slicer. So we've got the number eight pro series grinder and the Walton's 20 pound meat mixer. Oh, and I've got to draw um, last month's winner. All right, not a name I've seen on here, so we'll still give him a few minutes. Uh, Peter Mogish, Mogish.
Okay, there you go. Peter's there. Peter, do you want the uh, grinder or the meat mixer? All right, we got the grinder. wondering what you were doing. All right, I'm grabbing a drink. So this is a juice jorts. They look like uh, jean shorts on the front, if you can see that. And it is a hazy pale ale. Yeah, it tastes more like an IPA than a pale ale to me. Well, they both have pale ale at the end of it, right? Yeah, but I mean, like uh, Sierra Nevada is a pale ale, and I like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it says, John, I don't care if you sell freeze driving or freeze drying machines. You still need to give one away because I want one. Well, if I had one, I'd probably keep it myself. Uh, Danny Boy says, what is this channel? Can someone explain? We do meat processing equipment videos, uh, how to's on everything from snack sticks to brisket. Um, so Walton's is a company that really started out servicing the commercial meat processing industry. A very little small portion of that was retail, and then we've just consistently grown the retail year over year over year. So we just do these as a way to stay in touch with our viewers, um, also to clean out our kitchen inventory from time to time. We get new equipment in, things start to build up here, so we decide better that it goes to someone who will lovingly use it. So Thomas Sweeney says, what's the big advantage from going from 8.5 to 12 or to 10 to 12? So yeah, power is part of that. Um, bigger part of that though is probably what you can fit on the carriage. So the 8.7 inch has a much smaller carriage than the 12 inch. Um, you know, if, if you're wanting to do like full bellies, you're still gonna need a Bezerba or some sort of huge commercial smoker or sorry, slicer, um, but you can easily fit a half a belly on the 10, the 12. Um, so yeah, what you can fit on there is also another option. Okay, so I'm gonna figure out how to ban this guy. Uh, hide user on that channel. Okay, nope, shoot, I undid it. All right, so I banned that guy and then I undid it. There we go, I got him again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's gone. Sorry about that, guys. Hopefully that he stays gone. I don't get that. Like, what is the fun of... I don't even know if it's somebody. You just think it's a bot? I That or, I mean, it was such a specific thing. I mean, I on. saw that thing the first time. I was like, well, that's an odd coincidence that he knows his gym teacher from here. But whatever. <laughs> He says, as his actual gym teacher. <laughs> I, <just don't, laughs> I don't know if he's joking or not. Yeah, I don't know classes. either. All right, so summer sausage on a pellet smoker, right on the grill grate, or should I find a way to raise them up a bit? Uh, so you can go right on the grill grate. Lots of people do that. Problem you're going to have. Problem you're going to have. I thought that one was coming through the wall. That scared me. Um, the problem you're going to have is while the meat's in there, even though it's packed real tight into that casing, 
it, it's soft at that point, so it's gonna sink, right? It's gonna kind of get a weird appearance on the bottom. It won't even like flatten out like it normally would. It's gonna kind of get down between the grooves a little bit. So if you can find a way to hang it, that's absolutely the best thing to do. If you can't hang it, try just like turning it every once in a while. As the cook process goes on, that will become less and less as a problem. The proteins will start, start to denature and the meat will start to firm up. But the first couple hours of that, you're gonna wanna rotate it every once in a while. Yep, so 22 will be absolutely excellent as a, a grinder for a deer. Uh, Kevin, yeah, absolutely. Austin is the owner, uh, one of the owners of the company. Uh, his dad, well, his granddad started it. His father turned it into the Waltons that we know today. He and his brother and his dad all run it together. Austin is just very hyper-focused on a few of the things we have going on right now and doesn't have time. He will 100% be back for these live streams in future episodes, future months, once we just get past this little hump of absolute insanity. I see someone saying something to Papa Sop, but I don't see Papa Sop. Oh, there he is. How are we doing, Papa Sop? Uh, thank you, Wally. I hope I said your name right. Tech says, Jonathan probably ran him through a 32 and fed him to his dogs. Yeah, yeah, my dogs could definitely eat them. I had a guy running by my house the other day and I leave, not leave all the time, but often we'll have my dogs hooked up, big thick ropes to my front yard. They're both tied up, can't go anywhere. Had a guy run by while I was out there and he goes, hey, I just want to let you know. He goes, I go the other way sometimes because you're dogs. I'm like, thanks, buddy. Yeah, well, don't do that. They're, pr I mean, I wanted to say, oh, no, they're harmless, <laughs> but Brutus is not harmless. I'm like, yeah, don't come onto my property, but run by. They're not going to do anything to you. But I felt super bad about that. Uh, Chris, we don't know when the Weston 22 will come back in stock, either the pro or the butcher. We've had a few filter in here or there, almost unexpectedly, like they just show up for with no, we're not expecting them. They just all of a sudden are delivered to us. Um, those are gonna be going to fill back orders for quite some time. I will say this, a week from today, we should be getting our Waltons 22, 32, 12, and eight grinders in. I'm taking that entire day and probably the next, and I will do nothing but process with it. I'm just gonna grind and grind and grind and grind, test everything I can possibly think of, and I promise you guys, I will give you my honest opinion. If these do not match up to the other grinders, I will say that there is you know, a difference. But from what I've tested so far, if there's a difference, I think it's in our favor. And with the adjustments we made, I think it's going to move further in our favor. So hopefully next Monday, we will have a 22 Waltons grinder that you can buy. <laughs> Nick Hall says, I had a lady I had to tell that I couldn't make my bees fly in a different way so she could jog down the dirt road without getting bumped by them. Uh, Danny Boy says, is this company American based? I'm from the UK. I've never heard of this company before, but it seems great. Yep. Yep. We are based out of Wichita, Kansas. Um, company started 20 ish years ago, I think at this point, maybe a little bit, probably actually significantly longer ago than that, like 30 years ago. Um, yep. We're a, a family owned business, um, in the heart of America. We employ well, more and more people now. When I started, probably 35. Um, with seasonal help right now, we're, we're significantly above that. But yeah, it is an absolutely great company. 
All right. So now it's, I, I guess it's. Totally forgot about that. All right, so we're going to have to do a little bit of backing up. I hope John Belvedere and, uh, I don't know, John Belvedere is good. I hope Peter Mogish is still here. Peter, you're still here? Let us know if you're still here. Because here's what happened with the 8.7 inch slicer, and I meant to bring this up earlier. Um, yes, we are still giving that away. Okay, cool. Peter, let me know if you would rather have a 8.7 inch slicer instead of this grinder. So 8.7 inch is just like the, the diameter of the blade. I'm assuming you still want the slicer or the grinder, but I just want to make sure before I say anything. Okay, cool. So um, I was looking at things here that I needed to get out of this room and I had forgotten that I had already given away the 8.7 inch slicer from last month. Uh, so I put it in a picture to send out and I didn't realize it until that winner emailed me about halfway through the month and was like, hey, I still haven't got my slicer. And I was like, oh, that's why. Um, so 100% we will honor that, send out the, the email, the social media posts with it. Um, we will definitely get somebody uh, an 8.7 inch slicer. Luckily, it hasn't affected anything so far. John picked the larger slicer, which makes sense for him. Peter still wants this, uh, so we will, we will give the next winner a choice between the 8.7 inch slicer and the 20 pound meat mixer. And I will get on that now. So yeah, guys, I, especially for the heavy meat logistics users, um, I, I'm sure you've noticed I have been a lot more MIA than I ever have been before. Um, I'm, I usually at least try to stay right on top of everything. But there are days now where I barely open meat logistics, and then I go home, do a few things and try to get to it, but then get pulled into to other things. So I hope you guys know that that's not like I, I adore that community um, and we definitely want to keep growing it it's just for this short period of time right now hopefully just another couple of weeks uh, I'm being pulled in other directions <laughs> there is nobody else Nick no one else has sent no I don't want to say that I was about to say something all right so I'm drawing a winner. Uh, this person will get their choice between 8.7 inch slicer, not pictured, and the 20 pound meat mixer. Drawing winners. Oh, I wish they were showing that instead of me. <laughs> You two dorks. Uh, Sergey Diakin. Sergey, Sergey, Sergey. 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 I feel like I should know how to say that. Fergie. Sergey. 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 Yeah. Um, do you have a recipe for smoked pecans? Sinister MD. Yes. Uh, let me find it to, or let me find the post from LKR Fletcher. Uh, Patrick, can you keep an eye on chat? See if that person says they're here. He's here. Wow. That was fast. People are on top of it today. All right. Uh, Sergi, uh, do you want the 20 pound meat mixer or the 8.7 inch slicer? Not the, pictured. He wants the slicer. Did you ever say it? Yep. Okay. That was fast. Sergey wants the slicer. Yeah, congrats. That that was really quick. All right. Go to meet just X. In all honesty, though, I can't overstate how good these pecans are. 
just the right amount of like uh, smokiness, a little bit of sweet. Yep, there, there. There, I got it. I hope that's not annoying me chewing. All right. We'll do some uh we'll do some jerky and seasoning. So normally how this goes when we're not doing one of these weird kind of giveaway months or live streams, we draw a couple winners and that winner gets something I've made recently plus a seasoning of their choice. If it's somebody who doesn't do their own jerky, their own sausage, something, I'll let them choose a couple of Excalibur shakers in place of a bag of uh, jerky or summer sausage seasoning. Um, but once we draw this last winner, we'll get to a couple of those too, because I did make a ton of jerky about two or three weeks ago so that I would have enough to send out for the rest of this year. Kevin, I wake up at 3.45 every morning and work out like a fiend. I mean, that's really, I try to eat better, but I just, I don't have that ability. There's too many good things to eat here. It really is, it's unbelievable. Um, I appreciate whoever said that our, that our jerky was awesome. I didn't, there we go. Uh, James McClellan says, uh, and the jerky is awesome. There have definitely been batches I've made where I'm not in love with it. Uh, taste is one of those weird things where sometimes I love what I make and sometimes I hate what, what I make and other people tell me it's great. It's just all over the place. Ooh, what is the best breakfast sausage seasoning for venison meat? So the two I would say would be H110C. Um, that's got a decent amount of heat to it. Uh, and the other one would be Holly regular pork sausage. So the Holly regular is like the most, the closest to like that classic breakfast sausage taste you're gonna get. And it does work well with venison and other wild game. Um, but the H110C has a little bit of heat to help cover up some of the gaminess that can be present in venison. Doesn't have to be present. A lot of that has to do with how it's processed, in all honesty. They did, I wanna say Oklahoma State, Texas Tech, one of those two schools, did a, a study a couple years ago and took uh, deer, processed it exactly as a commercial uh, cattle processor or pig processor, as a commercial processor would do. Um, and they found very little minimum taste uh, people reporting at least a gamey flavor in the venison they did that way. So some of it is that for sure. Uh, but yeah, the H110C has got a little bit of heat to cover up any gamey flavor, but the Holly regular pork sausage is our best selling seasoning overall. Not best pork sausage seasoning, it's our best selling seasoning. So. Ah. Uh, Candace says, I found every deer we get in Southern Illinois is super gamey. Huh. Oh, James, 100%, I'd eat it. Just send it to 3639 North Comatera, uh, Wichita, Kansas, 67226, and attention, John. I'll eat it. Not everybody here will. Uh, we have a good number of people who are hesitant about eating things that come in the door. Patrick will laugh at me, but I have what I call an iron gut. Um, I've trained it by eating terrible things for years and years and years. Uh, so while I'm not going to say I don't get food poisoning, it is extremely rare. This guy has vomited at work more times than anyone I've ever met. That's so. accurate, but they're not food poisoning things. No, you they're just like, have a sensitive stomach that you call like an iron gut. not eating for 14 hours in a row. And like six energy drinks in a day. So. Don't say that. Uh, two? No, six is way closer oh, okay. to regular. <laughs> You've cut back, right? You to... Yeah, no, I've actually done really well. In the last two weeks, I think I've only had three energy drinks total. Yeah, that's One pretty good. One of was this morning, though. Um, so, yeah, I have a, a very bad problem with energy drinks. All right, I can't get my venison breakfast sausage from drying out in the end. Kevin, uh, that some of that is definitely the amount of fat in there. So, even if you get a fatty 
piece of venison, venison fat isn't something that you should really be shooting for. Uh, what you want to do is add some pork fat. So I've said it so many, I never have any idea, like I say the same thing so many times, I never have any idea how much uh, like people hear me say something like, oh, here he goes about protein extraction again. Um, but pork fat is almost tasteless. I mean, it's very, very little taste. Certainly less taste than beef fat or any other large game fat. Uh, it is nice and white. And if it's taken from the right area of the animal, it's nice and hard. Um, so pork fat, add it to your venison at a 20% rate. So if you're wanting 10 pounds, use eight pounds of venison and two pounds of pork fat or one and a half pounds of pork fat, assuming that there's some venison fat in there. Uh, and that will definitely help it from drying out. Another thing you can do is if you're making a fresh sausage, like a pork sausage, which is a breakfast sausage, uh, add carrot fiber. So carrot fiber, we like it because it's really inexpensive, very inexpensive product, but it does a great job. It holds up to 26 times its weight in water and it's a couple dollars for a, a bag that's enough to do 25 pounds. Another option would be something like Superbind, which can be used in either cured or fresh product. It is a mix of carrot fiber and potato starch. The potato starch forms a gel at right around 130 degrees, which is when meat is really gonna start expelling all of its water. So it just kind of soaks up that water as it comes out of the meat, holding it in your product. So those are the, the few things I would do. Uh, so Jay Fleck says, to lessen the gamey taste of steaks and roasts, try marinating or soaking in milk. Um, another thing you can do is uh, soaking in a 15% salt solution. Uh, we processed, we were lucky enough to process a bunch of snow goose. Uh, we made snow goose pepperoni here that had been soaked in 15% salt solution, I think for 24 hours, and then frozen solid. And that was some of the best meat we've gotten a chance to work with. I mean, that... Snow Goose Pepperoni was tops. Patrick, I know you agree with that. Yeah, that was like my all-time favorite. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely delicious. And a lot of people didn't try it. They were actually scared off by yeah, the know, goose really itself. The pro it was really good. And I was fine with that. A, a lot of the times we'd be like, no, you have to try this. It's really good. They'd be like, I don't want to try it. I'm like, okay, yeah, no, that's yeah, fine. Perfect. Don't try any. It's good. Oh, wow. Well, I was talking to conversation on gaminess really got deep huh oh uh london did we find the the youtube video of the deer what section of meat just is that i don't know because that's where it's like, I, I, I think it's a, i hope it's okay to post i think was the name of it i hope it's okay to post yeah that's what i, I really do think that's what the guy said Yeah, so for anyone, what I'm about to post, please, anyone with a weak stomach, do not look. It is, yep, there it is. It is very gruesome. Um, which block, like which in fact, I'm not even going to post to the YouTube video. I'm going to post to the, to the Mugistics post. So if you want to see it, you can go there and then click on that. I don't want anyone clicking on it in error. Uh, it's the craziest thing I've seen. Should you even bother describing it or we're just trying to push people to the... No, that's fair. Good point. Um, it is a de it's a trail cam and a deer walking by with like total exposure from shoulder blade to, to hip bone. It, it's unbelievable. It does an awesome job showing the resiliency of these wild animals. Like it must... The only thing I can figure is it just happened. Like it must have been within the last... 10 minutes uh, i have no idea how long clean, obviously. super clean cut yeah and it had to have just it's almost like someone was just trying to expose the anatomy on the back of it it's just it's it was weird oh no no, no. It, this isn't like a psychopath did this this is no no well yeah i'm not oh okay well, <laughs> i'm it, saying it's almost it's like as a if movie someone surgically almost as if yeah yes, it's exactly so like clean that. like yep. they're trying to preserve everything yeah jay that's what we think we think some semi something just came by and
speaking of pumpkin pie, Galaxy T says, I'm baking a pumpkin pie. We do have a pumpkin pie bratwurst. Um, and let's draw a winner for the 20 pound meat mixer and then we'll draw a couple of winners, see if anybody wants that pumpkin pie bratwurst. All right, so this is for the last of the cleaning out our kitchen giveaways and winner is Galen Williams Galen Williams let us know you're here <laughs> Candace says wow that's gnarly love it what are we talking about for Hunt? Uh, Mike's Micro Shop, who, by the way, has had quite a few good comments and answers here, says, uh, upright smokers so you can hang things is better, but the horizontal ones work. Yeah. So at my house, I'm lucky enough, I just have a horizontal pellet smoker because if I want to smoke something like snack sticks or summer sausage, I've got our PK100. I know that's not ideal like not not everybody has that setup um definitely can be done on a horizontal smoker but a vertical smoker is better for hanging products Hey, Galen is here. All right. Um, so you win the 20 pound meat mixer and I will go ahead and email all of you guys tomorrow. Uh, most of this stuff, most of those things, I think actually all of those things I can send out tomorrow. Can't think of any reason I couldn't. I should be able to get all of those on their way to you tomorrow as long as everybody responds. And we will now draw a couple of winners for jerky and uh, seasoning of your choice. So if you want a snack stick seasoning, if you want a jerky seasoning, just get that. If you don't do anything like that, I will let you pick from a couple of like any Excalibur shaker, regular size Excalibur shaker. I'll let you choose three or four of those and we'll go from there. All right, drawing a winner for that. That is a fairly big drop off though from piece of equipment down to some jerky and some seasoning. Uh, this is a name we've seen a few times before, Branson Tolliver. So Branson, uh, let us know you're here and we will go ahead and send you some uh, jerky I made. Here's the problem. I never labeled what was Walton's Bold and what was Sweet Chipotle. You get a random. You guys are going to learn a valuable lesson about why I should label things. Because it will either be Walton's Bold, which is sort of sweet with just like a little bit of, of red pepper heat, or Sweet Chipotle, which is like a cracked black pepper. I mean, they're both good. They're both good, but the Walton's Bold is clearly better. Uh, I would like to get a good quality skinning knives or equipment for the person uh, that gets a couple of deer season. What do you recommend? So if you're looking for skinning knives, uh, where's the lamb skinning? What did Galen win? Uh, seasoning and uh, jerky. Oh, that and then a seasoning of his choice. Um, so the Victrinox has two different 
uh, lamb skinning knives. One is a straight-ish blade and one is a curved. And then there is also kind of like the economy uh, beef skinner. I'm going to post all of those because as soon as you get past that, you get to talking to things like uh, air knives. Um, and those are, I mean, that's fairly pricey and not something that the average person would be able to set up anyways. Branson's here. How did I lose? Oh, there we go. This is six inch. All right, Branson's here. Yeah, Branson's here. Cool. Yeah. So who won the mixer? Was that, was that like three names ago or something? What? Did we, we already gave away the mixer, right? Yep. Okay. I think I did the same one twice, maybe. All right, I posted four links to three products. One I double posted somehow. Oh, well, he says, I, I use the sweet chipotle and then brush jalapeno jelly on one side to keep it moist. That does sound pretty good. Now, we're lucky enough to cook ours in a smokehouse that's able to control its own humidity, so we don't have to worry about it drying out as much. Um, it still definitely can, uh, but it's a little easier to stop that from happening. So yeah, um, Flyboy No More says, can you do a free shipping coupon? So I don't think it was a name like that, but I don't think it was the one from UK. I can't do free shipping to the UK, but I don't think that was him. I think that was a different name. No? I'm not sure. I'm getting nothing. Hmm. No help from these two. I don't know if the name was the same. Um, but yeah, I absolutely already have a coupon set up. It is 10% off and free shipping. Max value of the coupon is uh, $100. So buy $1,000, you'll get $100 off. Is this a one use only coupon? Nope. nope. Good for the next two weeks. It is live 1102. Live 1102 will get you 10% off and free shipping up to 100 bucks. Okay, cool then you can use that coupon for free shipping. It was a name like that that was the UK person, but I'm not going all the way back through it. So Maureen Sinemo says, yep, a sharp knife is a safe knife. That is absolutely true. It is dull knives that cause more problems than sharp knives. You should tell that to my mother. She doesn't like sharp knives? There is not one sharp knife in our knife block. As it should. Yeah. But he'll have his, like, his knives separately. <laughs> he hides them. <laughs> yeah, he does. Fair enough. There, I'm looking at the number eight Weston grinder on the website. It's showing unavailable at five or in stock. How can that be? Um, what's, the, what's the stock referencing? The in-store? stock it could be but that shouldn't stop it from being available which one did he say was it the number five or number eight i think he said eight weston number eight yeah the problem is there's four different weston number eight grinders uh craig can you is it the butcher the pro or the black series or the other one sorry So Flyboy No More, the 11 pound stuffer is definitely my favorite stuffer out of all of them. It's got a smaller piston like the number seven. Um, the number 26 and number 33 are really good stuffers if you do larger batches, but you change from piston size of about that to about that. It takes a lot more strength to turn that larger piston. And I do almost all of, our, or all of my sausage processing by myself. Um, I clamp it down to a table and I have no problems with that 26 or 33 pound. Even with clamping it down, it would still be fairly difficult. Uh, okay, cool. That'll work. 
skew. Yeah, we have an in-person store, Wichita, Kansas. If you're in the area, it's on Rock Road and 37th Street, North Comatero. If you're not from here, you probably won't know what I'm talking about. So, I think I can flip that. Craig, I think I can fix that. I'm so mad at my last pass right now. Saturday and Sunday, right? Nope. Just Saturday? Just Saturday. Yeah, open just Saturday. You're talking about our, our attached store? Yeah. Yes, just Saturday. That is my password. <laughs> To get free shipping, use the coupon code LIVE1102. That's LIVE1102. Uh, I believe it's in the promo code section once you uh, get further into the checkout menu. Chris, are you still watching? Sorry, I was hoping our IT guy was watching. Um, Craig, I will definitely get that set up. Uh, I'll have to get back to my desktop computer. Um, we should be good. Uh, we should be able to, to flip that live where you would be able to order it. Um, we have it set that way uh, to prevent more back orders from going out. But now that we have a few in stock, we should be able to set that up. I'm just trying to work on being able to log into the, to that system. Okay. And why did that change? I'm good, Chris. All right, got that fixed. Turn that. Ooh, what size natural casing for hot dogs? Uh, natural 26 28 sheep but really 26 millimeter cellulose yeah it's a skinless product it's the best for hot dogs but 26 28 sheep 24 26 somewhere in that range all also right if you had to get a vacuum sealer and you're between the vp 540 or the primavac 406 which one are you picking the what the vp 540 that's what they asked Four oh six is it's a really big machine. Where's the five forty? Hold on, let me let me make sure that uh this pro number eight grinder is available again. Which is more popular for breakfast seasonings? Hold Extra on, maple or maple flavored pork sausage. Stop. I can answer questions too. Go ahead. Well, I have to read it for the audience first. That's oh, kind of how right. the that kind of how that works. All right, so it's going to say temporarily unavailable when you click on it, but you can add it to your cart. Those are probably going to be gone fairly quickly. So go ahead. Uh, I'd probably go uh, extra maple out of those two, but we do holly regular a lot for uh, breakfast sausage seasoning. And uh, once again, the code for free shipping and ten percent off is live. 
1102. Live 1102. Should be no spaces in there. Michael, I'll email you tomorrow. I have to get the information from, uh, pass it on first, so it'll be tomorrow at the earliest. All right, let's draw another winner for seasoning and jerky. There we go. Uh, lots of gallons today. We don't have a cure calculator on the site, but we have a conversion chart, correct? Yeah, got a, well, what do you mean by cure calculator? Like parts per million? Nope, we're not getting into that. No, we don't. We have, have a, a breakdown, like how many, how much of this cure to use per pound, one pound and five pound batch. But yeah, that's it. Um, gallon. That's not right. Gallon Rome. Gallon, let us know you're here. As long as you respond in the next couple minutes, you will get some jerky and a seasoning of your choice. Could be snack stick, jerky, whatever you want. Uh, Gallon's not a common <laughs> enough name that I feel like we should have had two of them. I hope that's Galen. Galen? I think. Is that more common? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. All right, that's not a, is that like the Tristan I, now? Depends on how old they are, I don't know. Galen. Uh, Yavi's asking, Javi's asking, can you add a motor to the 11 pound sausage stuffer? Now, mm -hmm. I, I don't know if that's something that will be done in the future, but no, as of right now, no. Galen. Okay, you're right. Always. Ooh. But I don't see this person responding, so he might already be gone. Which would have been one, two, three, four, five. We had five people in a row be here. Mm -hmm. That is that could be a record. An absolute record for us. Hundred percent. For people who watch all the time, we usually have to draw three or four times for every prize. So that was a nice run right there. In fact, it's 413 and we've already drawn <coughs> pretty much all of our prizes. Yeah, Greg, these pecans are, are truly unbelievable. He said he only did uh, 10 minutes in the PK. So good. Yeah. We should try it with cashews. Cashews could be cool. Cashews are good too. All right. I'm going to say he's not here. Well, our commercial type slicers, they're huge, right? They're like the... That's like an auto slicer? Yeah. All right, I'm sorry. Chris just said if you keep eating these <laughs> while you're... That's one of Chris's pet peeves, dog. though, I That's believe. Fair. That's yeah. a good pet peeve. That's a fair pet peeve. Sorry, guys. All right, I'm done now. Sorry about that. All right, I'm revoking that win and we're moving on. Good thermometer for smoking. Uh, the meter plus? Yeah, meter it's plus. It's on sale it's, right now it's too. It's on sale. It's, it's really two thermometers in one with your ambient end on one and then go straight into the meat with the other.
All right, Michael Crump. Michael, you've got just a, a few minutes to respond. Let us know you're here. Last month's get we we do that at the end, right? What's up? We pick October's winner. That's the last. No, God, I'll do that right now. Yeah, I forgot. Right now, you forgot. Totally forgot. You're just doing random giveaways. Well, you don't have to be here for that. Yeah, you don't have to be here for that. So, it'd be cool if the winner was here, though. It would be. All right, switch out of this. Uh, so, waiting for Michael Crump. All right, so this is the uh, Turkey Fest giveaway. This is the winner gets a slicer, a slow cooker, a 18-piece uh, barbecue kit. So, draw on the winner. John Tremblay, oh my God. <laughs> oh, I guess. Oh, this is taking forever. It's a big deal. Wow. What were we giving away? It just, I thought it was drawing, it was bringing up a screen to let me draw. <clears throat> uh, a slicer, a, a slow cooker, a barbecue set, uh, Paula Stanley. Paula Stanley was the winner uh, for last month's giveaway. Stan Lee? <laughs> Stan Lee. Close, though. Yeah, so that was our Turkey Fest giveaway. Everything you really need to put on an awesome Thanksgiving th for this month, we gave away. So congrats, Paula. Right, has Michael responded? Poor Michael Chevalet has been here all the time. He's heard at least two other Michaels called. Right. So as we get later in these, we tend to be a little bit quicker on going to the next person. Pick this winner. Uh, Dana Callahan. Dana Callahan. Uh, Dana, you have. We'll give you two minutes. Uh, so, Mike, yep, we are open. Uh, with COVID, because of Wichita, uh, you do have to wear a mask when you come in the store, or if we want to go out into the store, we wear a mask. Um, but yeah, yep, we are open. Lots of people congratulating Dana, but I don't think Dana's here. But Ted, you're not Dana. That was one good thing I liked about this. There was way less people saying I'm here mm -hmm. when I announced. It was probably because we had to redraw less and less. Uh, Dana's got probably another like 30, 40 seconds. As soon as my clock says 420, we will redraw. Right, but. Luckily, there were no more Galen's, Gallons, however you said Gal that. Gallon? No idea. Gallon. I don't know. You're lucky I know how to say Jonathan. Yeah, we're, we're often not left off or let off the hook here with regards to people's names. It's always just like something we've never even seen <laughs> said out loud before. But it keeps coming up. You're like, uh. It's like, oh my gosh, come on, guys. Oh, one other thing uh, for anyone who wasn't here at the beginning. This Thursday, you can join us back at this channel. We'll be doing another live stream. 
will be very different from this. It'll be more, way more meat processing based and more, I mean, science isn't the right word because <laughs> science feels like something my wife does. I'm not a scientist, um, but it'll be more informational based, less drinking and giving things away based. All right, moving on. I have a feeling we're gonna pay for all of the consecutive people who are here with this. Uh, Richard Schott. Richard Schott. Richard, you got about two minutes. Let us know. Uh, Jeremy Bowen, go to waltonsinc.com slash live. Uh, you've got a couple of minutes left to uh, enter. Y you might win. Um, but if you want to enter to win the number 22 grinder that we're giving away all month, go to waltonsinc.com slash win. That is our all month long giveaway. Uh, Emery, uh, she is a uh, chemical engineer. So she's the smart one. What is the first Meet Gistics live cast topic about? Oh, uh, the one on Thursday. Uh, we haven't totally made up our mind yet, though. I would think anyone who's been on Meet Gistics a ton would know the one thing I tend to talk about more than anything else, because it is. It, Protein extraction really is a huge part of cured sausage making. So that will probably be what we talk about. Richard's here. Sweet. All right. So that's two. We'll draw one more. Allow repeat winners. Uh, Don Hinkle. Don, you've got about two minutes to respond. Um, you have won some jerky and a seasoning of your choice. Yes. And if you go to waltonsinc.com slash win, you will be entering to win this for next month. We'll draw it. You don't need to be present at next month's live stream, though we'd love to have you. Um, you don't need to be present to win this. Uh, so Jeremy, if you're at waltonsinc.com slash live, there should be something over on the right hand lower section of your screen. Uh, it might have something asking you to log in with either a Facebook account, an uh, email address, or a YouTube account. Uh, once you do one of those things, you should be able to enter. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, Emery, I un understand chemistry the least as well. I have literally no idea what. She gets so mad when I call her a scientist, too. She's like, I'm not a scientist. Well, you kind of seem like a scientist to sounds, me. Sounds know. just like her, too. That's, yeah, well. that's exactly what she sounds <laughs> like. <laughs> What's the difference between Mexi Chorizo seasoning and Chorizo sausage seasoning? Uh, so, tree, like, there, there's two main different types of chorizo. Spanish chorizo and Mexican chorizo. The Mexi chorizo is obviously more based at, as the Mexican chorizo. Spanish chorizo is more classically dry cured, fermented. Um, doesn't have to be. Uh, the one that we sell, in fact, we send with the nitrite to let you just cure it and smoke it. But more commonly, that of the two, more commonly that one will be uh, fermented and dry cured. So. Dawn's here. Hey, Dawn. Did she just get here? Yeah. Oh, Dawn Hinkle. Yeah. Oh. Who do you think I was talking about? Uh, who's the Dawn that's with us all the time? Got me. Who's the one you got into the... No, that's not Dawn. That's not Dawn? Oh. <laughs> well, it's been a long time. All right. So Dawn was here. That is the last one. Guys, we are going to go ahead and end this. Um, this was... I don't know. A lot of fun for me. 
Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I tried to enlist a couple people to come up here and sit with me, but they were all afraid of you guys. They said you're all too mean for them. But I guess I just have iron skin. I don't know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Everything iron on you. Yes, iron something. Oh, it's too. Oh, it's too late. But you just came for the beer. Is all you came for. We're just ending. That's fine. You can still have your beer, <laughs> but just come say hi to everybody real quick. Oh, well, yes. So this is Taylor. Um, for anybody who's a, a podcast fan, um, Taylor is our shipping manager. He did one of our podcasts about two weeks ago and had probably, annoyingly, the best Walton's job story I've ever heard. And it really did it. It kept it kept me awake. I was so jealous of it. So annoyed by that. I am glad you ended though, or you're ending. Ending, yes, we're ending. Do we have things? No, it was just it's kind of sad seeing you up here. Just trying to help, but. All right, guys, have a good night. We'll see you later. All right, we'll see you.